This is a quick video I'm putting together uh, to go along with a post that I have on FordTrucks.com Ford-Trucks.com It's about uh, the brake lights on a Ford truck not working right and my solution for it. So in order for you to know if you're going to need to uh, fix your uh, brake light switch or not um, you're going to need a test light. This is an LED. There's a resistor inside. Uh, there's a ground. Uh, you'll find a good place to do it. Uh, quarter inch spade. Uh, slide in here like this. And uh, on the wire that doesn't have the stripe. And then in, uh, this is the original spring and this is the replacement spring. And what I found closest to one I actually used is this right here. I found it at a hardware store. I think any Ace Hardware might have it. I'm not positive. But in order to replace the spring, you need to bend these tabs back. Then just um, kind of sp just spread it apart, and one end will pop up, and then you can just take out this plate here, and then take out the spring and. plastic part you know when you have it apart you might want to do a look down in here where the contact is and see if it looks okay to put that in there and the spring back in there little plunger thing in place grab your little plate here put it down like that and um, I don't, it's not quite in there, it just needs to be bent back a little further, there it goes in. So I'm not going to pull, pull these back now, I'm going to set, I put it in and make sure it works out okay before I go ahead and squeeze these back together. Now on the first time I did this, I had to bend these ends up. Bend these ends up a little bit, maybe a 32nd on each side, and so it will work right, but you won't know that until you try. So um, go ahead, use your test light, and um, your brake lights um, should work a lot better now. On mine, it just uh, tap it, and the thing will change states and make the, the cruise control disengage. And then uh, it will the brake lights will stay on until you let up on it again. Before uh, it, cruise control wouldn't disengage until you know it actually sped up before you got enough uh, switch travel to you know change states until the cruise control disengaged and it would accelerate. And then also the lights wouldn't come on until you had quite a bit of hydraulic pressure on it. So, since this is a new spring, um, I used another type and, uh, you know, one I had laying around. And so I'm going to test this one before I submit the video. And one thing I 
also think we should do is um, the original spring had ground ends on it it just means that they're nice and flat I got, I got this um, 716 Seven sixteenths twenty extra long nut, and I put it in there, and just held it down, and then lapped it. Just spun it around like that, and it only takes about three minutes until these ends are flat like the original ones were. And um, I think that's all I need to say right now. If um, it doesn't work out, um, I'll come back and do something else.